Snap throw. Bethancourt has a cannon for an arm. Got to be on your toes on the bases. As you just saw, he will throw behind the runner. He had to slide on that area where he just got hit by Shelby Miller and asked for a little time. Head first slide. Boy, he's hurt. Mm -hmm. mm. He's going to take some more time, and this is not good. They've already lost one middle infielder with a rib injury and a side injury in Jose Reyes, and now Devin Travis. Remember, he got drilled with that fastball. It looked like it might have caught him in the ribs. You can see he's feeling it under his rib cage as if it might have hit the bottom of that rib cage. And if that's the case, obviously, that's a concern. Looks like he's going to leave the game. And Evan Travis reluctantly being walked off the field. And that's going to be the case. Steve Tollison mm. quickly will grab a helmet and take over at first. And Travis is in some pain. Well, he got flush, hit flush with that fastball by Shelby Miller. And then he had to dive back into first base on that side. Watch it one more time. Back part of the bag. And that side gets hit. And he's like, wait a minute, something didn't feel right here. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, it is. He was up to a great start with the bat, of course. Uh, now, you see he's feeling what appears to be the bottom of that rib cage on his left side. Got a hit on the left hand. Trying to back out of there right on the wrist. Ah, that's as bad a place as you can get hit right there. But Devin's going to go to first and hit him right on that joint. This is Ryan Goins taking over defensively at second base. Some money. Devin Travis gets hit by a pitch right on that left hand and. This time of the year, any time of the year, you always are concerned when a player is hit on his wrist or his hand. George Poulos, the head trainer, will come out and check on Devin Travis. Looked like it got him possibly in the pinky finger. Yeah, you can see George Poulos where he's pointing. Uh, we've seen it over the years. Uh, getting hit in the finger and the hand area, bad things can happen. We saw Brett Laurie last year get hit and break his hand. Johnny Cueto hit him with an inside fastball. That one right off the pinky, but it's a good sign him starting to move it. Well, a little bit concerning in this 3-1 ball game. Devin Travis has been at the plate three times. He took kind of a wild swing in the fourth inning. And remember, he had that problem with his left shoulder. Looked like he grimaced just a little bit on one of these swings. One more time, that high fastball, you can see him right there. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it just didn't look normal like we have seen from, from Devin. You can see the dejection. With this is the second to the last swing and watch his reaction. He is out in front and that's the pitch that bothered him initially. You could see him grimace the pitch that he had to reach for. Put a little pressure on that that front shoulder. Looked like he was fooled just a little bit on that change up. And then this is the one the last pitch it's a high fastball. And the swing again you can see he can feel it. Squares and puts it down up to it first. Devin Travis over there to cover. I think he's playing through some uh, discomfort tonight. Tap to the mound. Two down. The training staff for the Blue Jays. Tending now to Devin Travis. I told you, it just didn't look right after that last play in which he covered first. Well, you know, that's killing Travis to come out. Well, the Blue Jays getting more bad news. Devin Travis is out of the game. He took an awkward swing, striking out in the seventh inning. Steve Collison in defensively and wants the reaction after this swing. And he felt something, and we're not sure what it was, but he did not stay in the game after this strikeout. But you can see the grimace indicating some kind of pain. 